What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with this Terror uh, March video, volume two, uh, with this deck. Uh, I know we, we tried one out not too long ago, uh, and it just didn't quite get there. This one, I think, uh, is doing a fairly decent job. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a little bit easier to, uh, it's a little bit easier to stay in the game is what I will say. So, very much enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are as well. Do we keep this? This is a very interesting hand. I'm going to try this. Uh, it's a bit weird because we can't Grazer turn one. Um, unless we just draw a green source off the top. That's a possibility. Um, but that is a little bit tricky. Uh, let's do this. Throw that on the bottom. Um, and let's see what we can do. Discard a card. Um, hmm. Do I care about the Grazer? Um, I don't know. I'm going to discard the Fable Passage. That might be incorrect, but uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, let's get the Grazer out. We'll play the Temple of Abandon. Uh, so we can scry really quick. Um, I do really like Rana. It gives us a play next turn as well. So yeah, we will keep that. Uh, and then we'll play this. Um... Let's see what we can do. Sorry, I had a missed call. Um, this is going to be a tough matchup, though, uh, because they're obviously going to have a lot of answers. Um, I think they have a hard time dealing with Mirror March, though. At least I hope. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Um, but this sets us up pretty nicely for next turn, which I'm happy about. Ah, sorry. Answering text. I apologize. All right. What do we want to put? This. That's fine. Uh, they can have Extinction Event. I don't particularly care about that, if I'm honest. Um, let's play Terror. I know technically, if we wanted to actually pull off what we were trying to pull off, we would play Mirror March. Or, excuse me, we would play the Elder, but um, the Elder's real good. <laughs> it's a little... Oh, mean. So mean. Sure. Take three. That's fine. Uh, let's play out Mirror March. Hope they don't have any kind of counter. I don't know. Grixis Control. Not sure. Um... Doesn't look like it. Hopefully they don't have a way to deal with it, though. Uh, generally, I don't think they really do. Um, this only hits creatures. They deal with creatures well, and they deal with the hand well. They tend not to deal with, like, enchantments and artifacts all that well, from my understanding. Um, but that's fine. Okay. I mean, let's go for it. Let's see if they can do it. Do they have a counter? Because it's going to be really annoying if they do. <laughs> okay. Okay. We get a couple. Um, not going to attack with you. Um, let's draw a card and we'll gain three. We'll do one of each here. Um, kind of want to spread out a little bit. Ooh. Um, just kind of just wanted to get some more value if we can. Uh, cause one thing we are in danger of, you know, if they, if they thought erasure and deal with our board, we're in bad shape. Uh, obviously they can deal with the board. So that makes sense. That's why we gained a little bit of life, though, because obviously this can now attack in uh, for free. Um, so the question becomes, do we just go for it? Uh, do we feel lucky? I'm going to try and see if we feel lucky. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this is probably incorrect, but let's try it. Or it's not. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is part of why this is so good with Terra. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Woo! We got there, guys. Heck yes. Uh, let's jump in to game two. I love this deck. I love Mirror March. It's such a silly card. It just makes me happy. Oh, let's uh, let's open a pack really quick. Let's open a pack. There we go. Uh, got a rare. 
like it. All right, let's jump in. I apologize again. I'm responding to a text. Sorry, there's important stuff going on, so I apologize if I um, am doing two things at once here. All right, cool, cool. Let's see if we can get another couple wins with this. So far, we're doing okay. Like, I'm a little impressed. This is doing all right. Um, let's do this. We'll get Stomping Ground down. Uh, next turn, we will be able to play the Visionary, which will be nice, and that'll get us up to turn five pretty quickly. Oh, and we've got a really great turn five play. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Draw our card. That might even be better, depending on what we're actually up against here. Um, we'll see. Looks like potentially Mono Red, uh, though they did not have a turn one play. Ah, no, this is Spells Matters. Spells Matters. Um, let's play the the Elder then here, because um, we're going to need to draw some cards here pretty heavily. Uh, and this has Vigilance, so this just has Reach, Vigilance, kind of has everything that you need. Uh, if they try and double up and kill this, that's a lot of spells that they're wasting on one card. Uh, which for us is fine because it stalls uh, pretty well for the Mirror March play, hopefully, later on. Okay. Um, I assume this is just like Arclight Phoenix. Um, or something to that effect. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we will attack with the, uh, the Elder here first. Um, and we'll draw a card. Okay. Um, such a good card, by the way. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's play Ooze. Let's just get this out there. Um, I'm sure they've got plenty of ways to deal with these, but now we're, not only we've got a giant 6-6 six, six that got, that has a lot of value attached to it, but we've also got specifically this, uh, which can just keep pushing out more and more creatures. Uh, so now not only do they have a big threat to deal with, but they've also got a couple of other things that they have to worry about. Um, and so I feel like uh, that puts us in a much stronger position. Um, all right. Let's attack in with everything. Let's draw a card. Rod is not bad. Okay. Um, let's play Rada. Terror of the Peaks, huh? I'll just pass here. Might have even been better. Okay, they're just going to give up. Okay, that was a very easy game. Uh, I think they just didn't get what they needed, though, so that's fine. Uh, let's jump into our last one. Uh, so far, we're doing pretty well. We have lost one game uh, out of all of these, which is kind of amazing considering the kind of deck that this is. But it is uh, very consistent and that it's pretty much always going to get to turn uh, five lands pretty quickly. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, do we draw the threats to actually play out? Um, I think it's kind of nice. I like this deck. I'm pretty happy with the configuration here. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a sketchy, sketchy keep. Let's keep it. <laughs> uh, sorry for the, uh, the uh, frame rate issue. Uh, I know it's probably a little, a little touch and go at times. Um, unfortunately, it is what it is. There's not a ton I can do about it at the moment. Uh, that's helpful. That gets us here. We will not be able to hit a turn five terror. That's worth noting. Or excuse me, a turn three or four terror. Uh, just because we don't have double red, which really sucks. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna say no blocks. Um, we do, however, get biogenic ooze out, which is pretty helpful given the current state of things. Um, hopefully they can't just straight kill it, but they probably can. <laughs> Uh, it is Boros Knights, it looks like. Yeah, Banishing Light, sure. That's fine, that's fine. Um, I'm all too happy to trade this off here, though. Okay, yeah, they're not even going to attack. Kind of makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and play out Visionary. Draw us a card. That's nice. Um, we'll pay two here. I uh, kind of just want to flood the board. Um I'm playing these zeros out knowing that next turn we're probably going to be playing Terror of the Peaks, but because they have zero power, it does not actually do anything uh, with Terror. 
Um, and so the idea here is to get stuff that has power. I know that's a bit of a non-bow for the deck where you've got a lot of zero powered things. Um, but unfortunately that's just the price you pay for the consistency, I think. And I would rather have the consistency for sure. <clears throat> um, this does allow us now any creature that we draw essentially gets to, you know, peg something, uh, which is very, very handy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Get a glass of water. Uh, don't know if we should kill the Worthy Knight or the Inspired Veteran. Because, like, both of them are good. Or this, to be honest. Wow, that's a tell. Well, I'm just going to do this. We don't really care about the Grazers, so... Save ourselves a little bit of life here. Ooh... Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, let's do this. Get this down. <clears throat> uh, what's nice about this is we get to kill two things. Um, so we're going to kill both of these. There we go. Um, all right. Well, and they gave up. We didn't even need a mirror marsh. Holy crap. Uh, glad that game was quick, though, just based on the frame rates. But, uh, man... This deck might just be good, and it just happens to have Mirror March in it. Um, that That's assuming a lot, I know. Uh, to summarize the deck, though, uh, first of all, I do think this version works a lot better than the previous version. Um, I think there's a little bit more to do in the early game, which is huge for this deck, because it's obviously required to get to the late game. It's a little bit difficult sometimes. And so uh, I do think you could potentially swap out a couple Grazers or maybe a couple Geese for uh, two more Scorching Dragonfire or even a Sweet Bat... I hesitate to say a sweeper because you're a creature deck, but you're kind of looking to win all in one shot uh, versus, you know, playing a bunch of stuff and getting a ton of value out of it. Um, I think that the Grazers and the Geese along with Scorching Dragonfire is probably enough uh, just because the Grazers really block tremendously. Um, and so I think that it's I think that it's good. But uh, either way, I really like this deck. We kind of got to see it do its thing. Not really. Uh, but we did get to see a lot of, you know, Mirror March activations, which is the fun part of this deck. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I really am uh, happy with this, and I really did enjoy playing it. I appreciate you guys watching and taking the time for this one. Uh, if you've got a different deck configuration or just any deck at all uh, that you'd like to suggest, our Discord is the place to do that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the JDC episode uh, that came out yesterday. That was really, really fun. Uh, and thank you again to Alex, uh, Proxy the Goat, if you're in our Discord. He's the, mo the moderator there. Really do appreciate his time uh, in putting that together and helping us with that. It's a lot of fun to just sit down and play Magic with friends, and that's what the JDC is about. Uh, and so it's all about having a little bit of fun. So hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching, guys, and I will see you very, very soon in the next gameplay video.